All right, y'all, let's make this headband today. Oh, I'm talented. I made it through weed all. I'm beautiful. I'm talented. I made it through the storm. I'm beautiful. I'm talented. I made it through weed all. I'm beautiful. I'm beautiful. Welcome to you all. Hey. Welcome back. I started off by measuring my fabric out. I believe it's 27 by about 16 inches. So this is a fabric I believe I got. It's a knit fabric I got from Fabric Hut. I fold it at in half and I am going to sew down the long end of it, of course. And once I get to the end of it, I'm going to back stitch it. And as you can see, that part is done. I'm going to fold it to put the right sides on the outside of the fabric. And it all depends on you where you want the seam to be. I want my seam on the outer edge. So I'm going to do that. And then what I'm going to do is fold the fabric in half and then I'm going to tie a knot and make sure I put that knot at my midpoint. So again I'm going to adjust it as needed and I'm going to fold it in half again to make sure my knot is in the middle as you can see and if it's not you can just fix it until it gets there. Then I'm going to fold it inside out and I'm going to match the seams together and I'm going to use a few clips to hold it in place now one part of this is going to be left open but the remainder of it I'm going to go ahead and sew it around and leave that open Okay, so I turned my fabric right side back out, and as you can see, I still have this little opening that I have to close. I'm just going to clip it together. Of course, I'm going to fold everything in facing one another so I can get a good finish. So as you can see, I'm grabbing a few clips to put them in place, and as you can see, I... We'll just take it to my machine and stitch across it. So of course you always back stitch first and then I'm going to stitch it together. Okay, now that that is done, as you can see, it's stitched together. It's pretty much together. You can wear it this way, turn it inside out. However, what I like to do is adjust the knot and put the knot over top of the seam. So that way, there's not a seam showing when you wear it. And again, it just takes a little bit of time to adjust. And as you can see, I've completed doing that part. And I'm going to put it on top of my mannequin so you can see what it's giving. So if I'm not mistaken, this one should be available on BeautifulBonnetBabes.com. But um, yeah, I hope this tutorial has been helpful for those that like to make headbands, wear headbands, sell headbands, whatever the case may be. This adjustable one is fabulous.